Hey beautiful people, good evening, good evening, good evening. This is a special video, a very special video for me because it marks the 40th United States Marine Corps boot camp anniversary. Yes, 40 years ago, I put, I placed my feet on those yellow footprints at Paris Island, South Carolina. And <clears throat> that day it changed my life forever. But this is a celebration. And to celebrate my 40th anniversary, I am doing an MRE Yes, an MRE, Meals Ready to Eat, mukbang, okay? And <clears throat> I'm going to say my grace, and I'll tell you what I have, and um, I'm going to take you back in memory lane. How about that? I know y'all can hear that sizzling. Boy, MREs have come a long way since 1979. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, December 18th, 1979 marks my 40th um, anniversary for boot camp. And what I'm having is beef stew MRE. Now, you probably could hear it sizzling. These MREs, like I said, they were not around like I had them in, or we had them in 1979. You all know, of course. 1979, we had the little uh, cans that you used to warm up your uh, dishes with, you know, um, like catering dishes and stuff like that. We had to really work to warm up our meals. But nowadays, they have their MREs where they have the package of whatever it is, like beef stew, um, lentils. They even have lentils and uh, rice or something like that. And what they do is they have them with heaters and non-heaters. With heaters, what you do is you take the package, unopened package of MRE, which is what I have here is beef stew. And you pour, uh, you put the package in there, there's a little heater in the, in the bottom. And uh, you pour the water to the fill line. You pour about that much water in there. And it starts to heat up. Now for the beef stew, it says it takes 12 minutes. And I think it's, it takes 12 minutes for, for all of it because that's what's on the uh, heating bags. So... We're going to see. <laughs> Let's see. Also in my MRE. I have chocolate chip cookies. Energy bar. Tropical fruits energy bar. I've never seen a tropical fruits energy bar. Of course, you have your spoon and your little condiments. And some crackers. Now, I'll never forget when I was going up a meritorious board on these crackers. And they asked me how many holes were in the Sea Rats crackers. Okay? I'm like, oh, I guess they don't want me to pass this. But anyway... I know now. And I went to Saigon Sam's, you all, to get my um, MREs. They sell them by individual packages with or without the heaters. And they also sell them in bulk. My second MRE that I have here, I'm not going to eat this one, but it's uh, chicken chili. 
So what you do is you take that package out, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, you put, take that package out and put it in that uh, healing, heating package. So I have all, I have my goodies. This is going to be interesting because beef stew is always my favorite MRE. And, you know, we did a lot of, I did a lot of bartering. That's how I learned my bartering skills in the Marine Corps because bartering those MREs, certain ones, you know, you didn't like and so forth. So, but anyway, we're going to take this. And we're going to um, see the steam. As I said, this is beef stew. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump it in there. I'm not going to take a chance on putting my hands in there. Good thing I didn't. And we have our beef stew ready in 12 minutes. <clears throat> now the MREs before, they didn't come like this in commercial packages. And I can already tell you I'm not liking the way this looks. Beef stew. Doesn't look appetizing, does it? It has a nerve to have peas and carrots in it, you all. I don't put, um, salt and pepper on anything. <laughs> oh boy. I'm just going to take a taste of it. It, it has a nerve to have meat in it as well. You know we're going to sit that aside. And you know Dasani water is not far behind. Okay. I tried the beef stew. I guess can't say, I can't say it's a true mukbang. But it's more of a... Um, a little bit more of a story time. Let me just... I would just like to take you on just a little journey. A short journey of my time in the Marine Corps. You see, when I went to Paris Island in 1979, December of 1979, I left Chicago AFES and I went to, um, by the time I got to Paris Island, I left Chicago AFES December 17th in the evening. By the time I got to uh, Paris Island, South Carolina, it was in the wee hours of the morning. So, it was in the wee hours of the morning. So, therefore, you know, you don't get to sleep in or anything like that. When Reveille is sounded, Reveille is sounded. It doesn't matter if you got there an hour before or ten hours before. So, that was uh, something else. And let me, allow, let me please allow me, allow me to introduce four fantastic ladies. Um, my D.I.'s from uh, boot camp, Marine Corps boot camp. And I'm gonna start on this side. You have 
That one there was uh, right here. You have Staff Sergeant Silkwood. Staff Sergeant Silkwood was the senior, my senior DI. And boy, she was always right on time. My senior DI, you have Staff Sergeant Silkwood. Then the next um, DI, she came maybe about uh, a few weeks, maybe about mm, three weeks or a month prior to graduation. I didn't know much about her, but I knew that she uh, she was from Sumter, South Carolina. I do remember that. And then the next one was uh, Sergeant Brown. One tough cookie right there. Sergeant Brown. And then the other one is uh, Sergeant Tovar. Tovar. So all of them were awesome DIs. But I have to tell you, Staff Sergeant Silkwood, my senior DI, was uh, uh, taught me so many valuable lessons. But uh, I was straight out of the hood, straight from the hood, young, uh, street sense, book sense as well, but straight from the hood. And, uh, but on graduation, you know, when they uh, pin the uh, emblem on you, Staff Sergeant Silkwood, she pin, as she pinned my emblem on me, she stepped back and she says, you know, she says, private, and she called me by my last, she says, told me private, she says, you were something. You were pretty much my ch her challenge. But she says, you're going to make a great Marine. And a tear rolled down her eye. But she was, they were all awesome. But she just, you know, really ran out to me. And I want to tell you, what you see here is um, this is my original, my original sea bag. So yes, you all, it's 40 years old. This is my original handbag. Oh yes, 1979. My original handbag. And of course, I bought this from the um, exchange. And my, my DI's. This right here is a t-shirt. This t-shirt says, still don't fly without supply. But I started off in 1st FSSG, 1st Force Service Support Group. Always been the best. GSM Company, General Support Maintenance. My MOS was a 1316. 1316, so therefore, and in that MOS, I did ARC, MIG, TIG, GAS, so I was a welder. I went right, I went to school right here at Courthouse Bay, Camp Lejeune, uh, Camp Lejeune, Camp Lejeune, the Camp Lejeune right here. So I went to Courthouse Bay for school, and I tell you, I had a couple of uh, influences there, whereas uh, Staff Sergeant Garrett, Staff Sergeant Shropshire, and it was a host of other ones. I can't remember everyone, so when I make reference to names, please know that, um, please charge it to my head and at my heart, and please know that uh, I haven't forgotten you. But if I, I just can't list all of you that have influenced me. Because when I came through, I came in through a time of Vietnam vet, veterans. So I came up under their leadership. And upon coming, upon, going, um,
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eat my snacks, if that's okay with you all. And drink my Dasani water while I take you down memory lane. So, <clears throat> as I was saying, I came in under a lot of Vietnam veteran, uh, Vietnam uh, era, during the Vietnam era, veterans and so forth. So, or Marines at the time, active duty Marines. And I'm so glad and um, taught me so much. They taught me so much. And under their leadership. So, but I just want to say, I just want to let you all know some of the people that have influenced me. And you may see them or have heard of them on the news or at certain events and stuff. When I came in, I came in under, I remember General Barrow. I came in on a general barrel when we had hard checks. We would stand in line to receive our checks on the 1st and the 15th of each month. And then, you know what? I also remember being under the leadership of General Al Gray. You may have seen him on the commercials when he talks about the Marine Corps. And also, um, he comes to Camp Lejeune to speak at the Beirut Memorial, General Al Gray. And I remember them from California because uh, that's what, that was my first duty station. And as I was saying, when I went to welding school under Staff Sergeant Shropshire and Staff Sergeant Garrett, they, um, if you come out a certain percentage in your class, you know, a higher rating of your class, you get to select your duty stations. So, of course, <laughs> thank you, Jesus, I came out, um, which allowed me, came out higher percentage, which allowed me to choose my duty station. So they had all these lists, they have a, they had a list, they list them on the board, and you get a chance to select. So I always wanted to go to California, so I went there. And um, that's how I was under the leadership of General Barrow up in California, even though he was a commandant. So General Barrow, and I was the only one under his leadership. So General Barrow, uh, I remember that with the hard checks. General Al Gray. Um, you know, I even remember uh, General P.X. Kelly. Yes, General P.X. Kelly. And also, I was in Okinawa. And uh, our general was, uh, for the base, was General Christmas. And so, yeah, I've seen, I've seen, uh, been through the leadership, under the leadership of those fine, fine, fine Marines, you know, that, I mean, you know, just, leadership leadership and um, you know my first tour in Okinawa I just want to tell you about Captain Pope and actually backing up before even Cap before Captain Pope um, I remember my first time ever seeing my first time seeing a black officer was at here at Camp Lejeune, I was at Courthouse Bay in 1980. That was my first time seeing a black officer. And wow, I was amazed. He was in his whites as well, so that was even more amazing for me. So, young Marines, know your history. And please know that you have a lot of history right here at Camp Lejeune. If you're stationed here for school, if you're stationed here, you know, just as, as, as active duty, you know, you're in the fleet, you're not in school, um, 
please um, know that there's a lot of history here, especially, you know, Moffat Point Marines. Please know about the Moffat Point Marines. Um, so um, then I uh, was under the leadership of Captain Pope in Okinawa, Japan. And when I went to went back to California, he was back in California. And um, just remember some of the great people is Captain Pope, Captain uh I'm just saying their ranks at the time, Captain Jacobus, uh uh Captain um Salinas, female, Hispanic. And you know, I tell you, she, and I remember a little bit about so many of the people that I was under their leadership under, even if it was something, you know, it could have been something very small, like Captain Salinas. I mean, I remember her leadership qualities, just awesome. And um, she was a very petite lady, but I remember that she took care of her mother, you know, and uh, she promoted me as well a couple of times, so did Captain Jacobus. You know, I remember him, you know, with the physical fitness all the time and uh, doing, um, always having salads. That's how I started liking salads, with just a little, he put olive oil and squeeze some lemon juice on it, and that was back in the 80s. So I remember, you know, just those little tidbits, but uh, the main thing I remember is the great leadership skills that they had. And uh, also one other person, FX Lieutenant Colonel, well, he was a little Lieutenant Colonel at the time. I think he uh, came, became a general, but Lieutenant Colonel FX Hamilton, I remember him. He was our battalion commander. And the, um, I always remember FX Hamilton, sir, what is FX Hamilton? Francis Xavier, Francis. Xavier, and uh, I always thought that was a, just a, you know, a great strong name, you know. Um, so, you know, like I said, I just wanted to make just a little short video to just let you in just a little bit of, um, you know, something that's very true to me. And, you know, something else I want to say to you all. Something that I want to say to, especially to the young Marines. The little chocolate chip cookies, y'all. But actually, I don't even want to try those. I want to, you know, what's interesting to me? What's interesting to me is this. New Energy Bar Millennium Tropical Fruits Flavor. Uh, this is this is interesting. <laughs> and my set. What I also before I before I close, what I want to also what I want to also say to um, about oh my MOS is is that. I've had a few and well a couple and um, but several several duties outside of those MOS's and as I said I was a mid tick art gas and I, I can tell you I probably along with some of my other fellow uh, marine classmates at the time probably made a lot of you all's grills yeah your barbecue grills here at Camp Lejeune because a lot of us students were making barbecue, had made, uh, making barbecue grills. <laughs> well, the barbecue grills. And yeah, you'll probably still have them because they last real long because we use the drums. But, um, <laughs> you know, I got to tell y'all, I have to tell you all a funny story about me being here at uh, Camp Lejeune. Um, I was when I was hospitalized here at Camp Lejeune as a young Marine. I was I got sick, got sick, got sick, and so I was walking to the infirmary. I was stationed at Courthouse Bay. Uh, Staff Sergeant Garrett 
was in charge. And so I walked over to his room. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm sick. This and that. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm throwing up. I'm, you know, this and that. And he was just, you know, didn't know how to handle it, you know, and um, and stuff. So, but um, I walked to the infirmary. Come to find out, it was my appendix. Appendix. So as I went to the, um, it was a weekend. So the doctor, the only the core wave was there, and uh, so I got sent to the hospital. This old hos the old hospital at the um, maybe I mean, at Camp Wow at Camp Lejeune, the old hospital. Okay, imagine this, you all. I am in pain. Come to find out, okay, we know it's my uh, we we know I'm I'm I'm, I'm going through it. Okay, now. I get to the hospital, I am in, I'm on a gurney, we get to the hospital, the back of the doors would not open, so therefore, I had to get out the gurney and step over into the passengers to go into the hospital. That's when it was the old hospital, the beds were like, uh, Bars, you know, the head, the head of the beds. That's how old that hospital was. But I got through it. That's the main thing. Let's try this. You know. I'm not certain. I'm not certain about this. I would probably eat it if I was starving and had to. But does energy bars, should energy bars be fruity? It's, it, I would probably, like I said, I would probably eat it. If um, I was starving, they used to have coffee or hot chocolate in here. Let me see. Yes, they do. They have some coffee in here. Mm. But what I want to say to you all before I close is this. What I want to say, well, what I want to say to the young Marines today is if I could say something, if I could reach each and every young Marine today and just give them just one message, it would be to remember that it's not just knowing your don't just know your principles and traits, but abide by your principles, leadership principles and traits. Okay? You know, we all have our favorites. I think it's, I'm sure they still teach that in the United States Marine Corps, principles and traits. And not only that, uh, yes, not only abide by your, you know, live your principles and traits, you know. But when you go to your duty stations, whatever duty station you go to, be a servant to that community. Okay. Excuse me. I think that that's very important. You know, because when you're a Marine, you get to travel different places, you know, and um, sometimes you're never there alone. And 
do something, you know, sometimes it's important to do something for others, you know, and you'll be better for it. But one thing I can tell you all is my journey in the Marine Corps has been a blessing, you know. My daddy taught me discipline, I knew discipline and stuff like that, but um, learned so many things about camaraderie, loyalty, you learn discipline as well, integrity, get some, you know, so, and then I wanted to go into the organization, the most challenging organization. That's what I wanted. I wanted a challenge. So, something that was going to challenge me. And of course, those dress blues didn't look bad either. You know. And I still have lunch. I even have lunch with my recruiter. Yes, my recruiter is here, and um, my other, my, my friend, Kathy, who I mentioned before in my video, who we went to boot camp at the same time, um, we all, we go with our recruiters. Our recruiters are friends, and she was, her, my recruiter was also her recruiter, too. But anyway, you know, and remember, like I always tell you before, I, you know, I try to tell you before I close is, be good to others. Most of all, be good to yourself. You know. And be a servant. It's not so bad. I wear my servant uniform every day. That means whatever clothes I have on it that day, that's my servant uniform. But I just want to thank you all so, 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 so very much from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you all for even watching in my video because sometimes, you know, I know a lot of times what's important to one person may not be important to another. And what's important to me, it may not be important to someone else. And I get it. But anyway, I don't want to ramble. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please check out my video that I did. Um, with a seafood boil featuring a six-year-old's experience with bullying, okay? Featuring a six-year-old's uh, experience with bullying. And I thank you all so, 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 so very much for subscribing, for watching, for liking, for commenting. I thank you. And y'all have a blessed one. My 40th. But...